speaks to Trump supporters about Trump's lies. Oh, this was, a, this was another Donny O'Sullivan video. An older Donny O'Sullivan video from Dalton, Georgia that we never actually ended up watching. So let's take a look at Donny O'Sullivan once again risking his life talking to the Georgians about what Georgians believe is happening in the election. Eventually accept that, that Biden is the next president? No, Biden is not the next Biden president. Biden isn't. Trump is the next president. I'm going to the inauguration for Trump. I've booked it before the election because I have faith he's going to be there and he's going to be do he's going to be elected. So he'll be president for two more weeks? No, he will be president till 2024. Practically every day since the election, new supposed evidence purporting to prove Joe Biden did not win circulates in the social media bubble Trump and his supporters live in. Hello, Georgia, by the way. There's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Two months since election day and just two weeks to Biden's inauguration, many are still refusing to accept reality. Stop that! Yeah. Missed it? What did I miss? Oh, there he is! Motherfucking, uh, the, the Q, the, the QAnon Viking, the, the Antifa. Biden did not win. Dude, these guys have, like, the funniest thing is, I've said this before, but, like, Trump support is, like, like a multi-level marketing scheme. Like, a lot of people have literally made it their careers like they like trump has groupies i don't know what they do i don't know how they survive do they all have like patreons or something but like there are so many of them that uh, that go to every rally like the what is it the 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 one black guy uh who's like a fucking crazy black israelite dude you got that guy you got the dude who always wears the the maga wall as a suit you got, like, these are characters. Michael the Black Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael the Black Man. His name is literally Michael the Black Man. Talk about knowing your audience, by the way. He's like, come on, you're going to know me as the one black guy who's everywhere. So I might as well call myself Michael the Black Man. You got the QAnon shaman. Like, they literally travel the country. I don't know what they do. I don't know how they make money. Like, how are they... How are they doing this? Like, does someone pay for their flights? Like, I don't fucking get it. The election new supposed evidence purporting to prove Joe Biden did not win circulates in the social media bubble Trump and his supporters live in. Hello, Georgia, by the way. There's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Two months since election day and just two weeks to Biden's inauguration, many are still refusing to accept oh, okay, reality. And can I get your no! Obviously, Trump is, is saying that the election was stolen from him in here in Georgia. Doesn't trust the uh, Republican election officials here. Does that cause a problem or an issue for trust in this week's Senate election? Uh, yes, I think it has for several people. Yeah. Uh, people are not, uh, have been demoralized and um, have actually told me that they um, do not want to vote because they feel like their vote isn't going to count. It must be concerning for you when you're hearing from Trump supporters, Republican voters saying, I don't know if I'll even vote this week. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Most of them, after we talk to them, have voted. I've spent um, a lot of time last week calling people up and, mm. and uh, the people who first said they, they weren't going to vote. After I spoke to them, they are going to vote. In Georgia, Republicans run the elections, right? Secretary yes. of State, all that. They've said they've investigated, investigated, investigated. They've counted three or four times. Right. And they said Biden has still won. Do you accept that? No. Not all Republicans are good people just because they're Republicans. Trump is, keeps saying that he didn't actually lose, that the election was stolen. Do you think it's just time for him to, to give up and, and let Biden yeah. take over? Step up and say, let's walk away. Yeah. Let, it, let right. him do his job, yeah. You're one, of the, you're one of the only people today I've spoken to here who said that. But why do you think that's important? Because it's showing who's the better person. You know, if you're going to continue fighting, what's the use? I mean, you know, if you've already lost it, let it go. Wait till next term. That a rare opinion at this Trump rally. 
also rare but worrying talk of civil war. Will you accept Joe Biden? We got to go. We no, got to go. He'll never be it my hurt. president. Okay. But you know, you accept that he's going to be inaugurated. No, I don't. I mean, how could that change at this point? Well, it could be a civil war. You never know. You don't actually want a civil war, do you? I don't. We don't well, show want us him. the voting machines. Show us the ballots. Show us the... Bitch, what are you going to do with that? Like, do you even know how this shit works? Dog, half of the reason why you literally think there is some fuckery happened is because you don't know how this process works and you watched footage of people who were counting ballots in the most normal way possible over, like, scary music and you scared yourself into thinking that some crazy thing was happening. Oh, well, why were they taking the ballots out, correcting it, and then putting it back in the machine? I don't know. Maybe because the machine didn't fucking read it correctly. Like, you literally do not need more information. You need less information, okay? Because more information leads you to believe that just because you don't understand how to process it leads you to believe in wrong things, okay? Like, there is too much fucking transparency if you, if you ask me. I'm serious, dude. These motherfuckers literally see more transparency, see more information, and they scare themselves into thinking like, oh, something, something bad is happening. It's like, no, that's just normal. Just think it through, you dumb fuck. Think it fucking through. It's just like when there were cameras placed everywhere during the vote counting process, and when those cameras panned over to the laptop showing like 1900 or whatever, which is the... the the default fucking date that you staple into like every you plug into every single like empty uh, uh like what what is it called for for excel and shit yeah the 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 1900 like default placeholder that you put okay before you like plug in the actual numbers and you see that on the spreadsheet and you think oh they're fucking lying no one born in 1900 would be able to fucking vote it's like no, you dumb fuck. Like, you saw that. You didn't actually further inquire. And now you think that, like, people who were born in 1900 were voting illegally in the uh, election. Like, it's so stupid. I saw that, and the first question I had was, well, that's kind of weird. I wonder, I wonder if it's just, like, a number that they're plugging in there as a placeholder. Turns out I was fucking right. Like, I don't know how to deal with these people, man. But, like, what I do know is seeing the, the Dominion voting machines with your fucking hog brain is not going to fix the problem, okay? The problem is that you have a terminal hog brain, okay? You are clinically hog-like. So there is no way to resuscitate you. There is no way to save you. Your brain is broken, brother. Just shut up and, and try to enjoy yourself and live out your days. Just don't get involved in politics, okay? Just fucking vote Republican if you want to, but like, just shut the fuck up. It's nuts. Capitol Police Chief gone, same day as the next projected attack? Yes. Hog hands won't know what to do. Can't show hog anything. We'll still stay civil war. Hog this is bored since election. Iraq war. I will never accept another vote again. Ever. It's just this opinion piece. Yikes. What is this? The cure for Trumpism? Reaganism? Okay, dude. So the cure for Trumpism is more Trumpism. But like an older variant of Trumpism that is partially responsible for Trumpism to, be, to begin with. Yeah, no thanks, dumb fuck. 